scopes. And then we're going to have some globally scoped variables. We need a few globally scoped variables um, by definition. And then we're going to have the constructor for the hash. So our globally scoped variables are going to be our array. So our hash, don't forget, is an array of linked lists. Okay. So we're going to have an array of linked lists. So one of the things that we need to define is that array that we're going to ret return to when, for example, we're adding things, removing things, looking at contains, and so on. The way that we're going to describe that is hash list i. And it's going to be an array of linked lists. And our linked lists are going to take our hash element kv objects that are our simple little container objects that are containing things for our linked list. And so we're going to make an array of that, and we're going to just call it hash underscore array. Okay. We're going to have a couple of integers. We're going to have table size. And table size is the number of buckets we have in our array. And we're going to have num elements, which is basically how many things do we have. So when we add something, we increment num elements. When we remove something, we decrement it. And then finally, we're going to have a double, which is max load factor. So max load factor, our load factor is our number of entries in our data structure divided by our number of buckets. And once our load factor exceeds max load factor, we're going to have to call our resize method. Okay. And then we have our constructor. So here's our um, public hash constructor. And our constructor takes the table size that we'd like to start out with. So we just make sure we remember the table size. Um, let's set our max load factor. And let's initiate our number of elements. OK, we're all set. We've taken care of the simple variables. Now what we need to do is we need to define our array of linked lists. OK? And this is just something where the Java code is just a little bit gnarly because we're working with generics in Java. And so the way that we do that, and I'm going to just start over here so I've got lots of real estate to write with. So I've got my hash array. And this is the variable that I've defined up here. It's a globally scoped variable. And I'm going to cast it eventually, and I'll come back and explain this in a second, to be a linked list, actually to be a, no, no, we'll make it a linked list, to be a linked list of hash element KV objects. <coughs> and it's an array of those objects. Okay? And it's going to be a new linked list array of size, table size. So let me just explain what I've done here. So remember, with generics in Java, you can't just make a generic array because of type erasure. Java can't look at it and say, oh yeah, that's fine. That array contains only the things it's supposed to because it loses the type. And so what we do is we create 
an array of linked list objects that are of type, that are of size, table size, that's our array. And then we cast that to be our generic array of linked list hash element KV array, okay? So we're casting this array that we've made to be these objects, and that's what ends up in hash array. And so now, at this point, we've got an empty array. And so every time you want to add something to the array, you have to go to the array and say, hey, at position two here, do I have a linked list? If I don't have a linked list, then I better make one. But that's kind of painful because you have to do that every time you do the add, every time you do the remove, every time you do the contains, every time you do anything with your data structure. So instead of doing it every time we add, remove, contains, find, all of those things, let's just do it right now at the constructor. And then our linked list will take care of returning null already whether if, if there's nothing there. So we're just going to write a simple line that's going to that's going to initiate our linked list. So we're going to have for int i is equal to zero, i is less than table size, i plus plus hash underscore array at position i. is equal to new linked list hash element kv. Okay. And now we've got an empty array of linked lists that we can go and use with add, remove, and so on.